Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Wow. Just got finished doing a live stream because an hour and about 30 minutes ago, Jalen Smith news was broken by Adam Schefter that the Dallas Cowboys were moving on from one Jalen Smith. That Jalen Smith, who Jerry Jones had coined uh, a cornerstone piece of the Dallas Cowboys organization and was the Dallas Cowboys man of the year, Jalen Smith was a lot more off the field than most people realize. He was creating business opportunities for a lot of individuals. He had all kinds of off the field entrepreneurships, uh, did a lot giving back in the community, and was a great story the fact that he was drafted in the second round when most people thought, most teams thought that he would never be able to play again. He proved people wrong, and in 2018 he played a Pro Bowl season. He's always had a lot of tackles, but, but Jalen Smith, due to the injury in the dropped foot, had to wear a special brace one of those years at least that basically was a hinge spring that would pull his foot back and for the most part had been playing literally on one leg I wouldn't feel sad for Jalen Smith because he got to live the dream of being a Dallas Cowboy he also got paid well to be a Dallas Cowboy but this Dallas Cowboy team and if you don't feel the winds of change with this Dallas Cowboys organization, then you've missed a whole lot. Because this Dallas Cowboy team, for those of you who have been talking about the last 26 years and everything else about the Dallas Cowboys, this is not that Dallas Cowboy type of a move. This is a Dallas Cowboys type of move that says, we got to be lean, we got to be mean, we got to be about something, and we have to go ahead and build a team. Now, there's a lot of people out there, the, the pulse of the Cowboy Nation, some of y'all are cheering and happy as can be and say it waited too long. Yes, sometimes the Cowboys take too much time making moves. If the Cowboys had decided to move on from Jalen Smith before March 26th last year, then we would have saved $9.2 million. But because they didn't, his contract was fully guaranteed. This move right now, because a lot of people will question, why make this move right now? Because if Jalen Smith got a catastrophic injury and could not play, then next year you have to pay him $9.2 million. This injury settlement. And so the Cowboys looked at this situation and said, Jalen Smith right now is really our fourth linebacker. The first game of the season against Tampa Bay, he only played 16 plays. The only reason why he got 30 plays this week is because Keanu Neal was out because of COVID. Keanu Neal is coming back. The Cowboys like what they have in Jabril Cox. They're going to put him into the mix. They have a Luke Gifford that they enjoy. And to look and say, let's you know, risk spending $9.2 million for Jalen Smith, when you look at guys like Keanu Neal and Joseph Hookers and Carlos Watkins and you know, Demontre Kazee, and understand that those four guys are only half of the amount of money that you're going to pay Jalen Smith next year. You make this kind of move because you're confident in what you have as far as the players on the field. You look at it and say, we have a surplus of linebackers, and we're better off making this move now than later. Okay. Some people say, front office is stupid. Why didn't they trade him for at least a third or a fourth round draft pick? Okay, herein lies the problem. They tried to trade him. They tried to trade him before the draft. They tried to trade him before the season. They tried to trade him up until now. They've had talks with people, but nobody wants to take the contract. They look at it and say, that's too much money to take that risk with that injury settlement in it. Unfortunately, that's the contract that Jerry Jones made with them, and it turns around and bites them in the ass. But they will be okay without this move. They couldn't move him. 
And better to do this now because if you had kept him on the roster for the year, then you would end up having to pay him more next year. Bottom line. And the way I think, and, and this is where a source kind of came back at me and said, there was, the organization felt that Jalen Smith may have been a little vocal and decisive in the locker room. Divisive. That Jalen Smith talked too much. And so they were worried about him becoming a cancer in the locker room as his playing time was decreased. Because what was going to happen, or what was truly going to happen, as Jabril Cox gets better, he starts getting on the field. As Keanu O'Neal gets in, as Jalen Smith's time, that time on the field is getting cut from Jalen Smith. They didn't want him to become a distraction, especially not at $9.2 million next year. So they made this move now. At least that is the thing. The other part of this equation is, the Cowboys, in the past, have held on to players for too long. So literally where they have no trade value, and they literally are falling off you know, body parts on the side of the field. And when you do that, it's typically guys that are making a whole lot of money, which precludes you from bringing, able to bring in young guys. And make no mistake about it, the Dallas Cowboys have a problem next year. The Cowboys, probably the smartest thing that they did was they have expiring contracts for so many of the players on the team. One-year deals. This is a prove-it year. Instead of saying, I'm going to get you a contract for the next four or five years, and there's no incentive for you to bust your ass. It's hard to be hungry when your refrigerator's full. Quote from Doc Walker. So when you know... You're getting paid all the money. When you know they're not going to bench me because I'm getting paid all this money, you act differently than when you're trying to get a contract. And here's the thing. We can go down the line with people who don't have a contract for next year that we really like. At the present time, the Cowboys restructured Dak Prescott's deal, so he's a $17 million hit. Do you know how much cash we have right, right, right on hand right now? Do you? $4.3 million. Now, if we don't spend that, that'll get carried over next year. Great. Because of the $210 million project, projected ceiling for the cap next year, we're already $20 million over. Michael Gallup. Last year, his deal. Leighton Vanderash, last year of his deal. Last year of his deal. Connor Williams, last year of his deal. Keanu O'Neill, Malik Hooker, Dontre Kazee, Randy Gregory, Jordan Lewis. We have so many players. Uh, Brent Urban. Carlos Watkins. We have so many players that have no contract for next year that we're going to have to keep some of them. Now, some of them will go and we'll get pet story picks. I got that. But if you have to let go 31 guys, we ain't got 31 draft picks. So you have to start figuring out money situation for next year. You found a good group of guys that work and fit your system. Your Keanu Neal's, your Malik Hookers, you know, those guys, they're dirt cheap right now. You're going to have to pay them or let them go. And this also puts notice on some of the other guys because your best ability is your availability. Because you look at it and say, hmm, Cedric Wilson and Noah Brown are pretty good. Do I need to sign Michael Gallup? Hmm. The defense is playing better right now than he did last year. And Demarcus Lawrence is out. Do I need that $27 million cap hit next year? Or do I look at it and say, I can save me about $18 million? I'm not saying to do that, mind you. Listen to me. Don't send me your hate mail. Don't send me your hate mail. But you have to look at 
where you're spending the money. The final piece on this is, for the Cowboys organization, it puts the onus on the players to perform. If they turn around and say, they'll cut Jalen Smith, A, that gives me an opportunity to take his place, or B, that means they can also cut my ass. So I better perform. This, my friends, is a new Dallas Cowboys organization. Forget all the other stuff that we had before. Cowboys, they're on a mission. We'll see how it all ends. We'll see how this works out. I know a lot of y'all are scared that Jalen Smith's going to go to the Eagles or Washington or the Giants and end up coming back to haunt us. Well, I don't think that's going to happen, but okay. Okay. If they want to take that salary cap hit, fine by me. All right. I've taken up enough of the YouTube tonight. I got to get up early in the morning because I'm going to be on the road tomorrow. Um, couple of things before I get out of here because you know I'm never finished talking. I'll be on the road tomorrow but I'll be back tomorrow night with our fantasy football um, live stream with uh, Stu and Roz. But also 10 o'clock tomorrow night we're going to have an epic round table with Bad Dog, um, my man Rio, and Philly 500. And we're going to be talking about the state of the NFC East. So I hope you guys tune in and come Sunday, Sunday, Sunday fun day will be my birthday. And what I'm hoping for is for my birthday, I want two things. I want the Cowboys to kick the Giants teeth in and I want to make it to 40,000 subscribers. Last I checked, I was about 280 away. So, you can help me make my birthday a happy one. Just by clicking the subscribe button. That being said, I'm going to turn out the lights. Because this party's over. Thank you.